Ah, welcome. Let me take you through the topic analysis in case AC mathematics paper one. So let us look at the topics that uh, are under paper one, and we shall look at the papers that are under paper two. Uh, so you realize that from one topics, most of them they are in paper one. Most of the topics in paper you see integers, fraction. All these from one topics, they come in a paper one before we look at the analysis from two topics. And numerical expressions, reciprocal cubes, logarithms, indices, equation of a straight line, transformation, that is reflection, rotation, and arrangement, congruence. Those, these are all of them topics that come in paper one mathematics. Trigonometry one, measurement two, algebraic expression, linear equation, linear inequalities, statistics one, which is found in form two, quadratic expression, all of these topics, factor one, similarity, they are in paper one. Uh, topics in form three, which are in paper one, uh, remember this, uh, some topics are in paper one and in paper two. So you must expect them in both papers. We have um, trigonometry two is also it comes in paper one. Uh, matrices paper one. Uh, and then from four topics that which you can easily find in paper one is differentiation, uh, uh, approximation. Now let us look at different years and the topics which the way they are being set integers 2012 from 2011 to 2022 so you can see that integers uh, it is it is uh, it is common because there are so many things we do or there are so many maths that require integers so if it, even if it is not appearing here very much it doesn't mean that it is not important and then we have uh, fractions fractions as you can see last year it was there four marks 2021 was there four marks decimal numerical expression without the tables last year it wasn't there so you can see uh, the numbers that are inside here the numbers i'm uh, highlighted uh, these are the marks so where you see three it means three marks where you see four uh, ratio Look at the ratio, properties, percentages. So 2012, it was 10 marks. 10 marks is 0, 10 marks. So 2018, it was 10 marks. 2019, it was indeed there. 2020, 10, 10 marks. 2021, 3 marks. 2022, 10 marks. So you can, from the trend, you can easily predict those topics that you will not miss. And uh, look at commercial arithmetic. It is always there. 3 marks, 4 marks. Paper one, we are talking about paper one. Remember, commercial arithmetic is a paper one. You can find it in paper one and paper two. Uh, yes. Drawing and scale. Uh, look at the trend from 2011 to 2022. So four marks, 10, uh, four, zero, 10, like that. So these are common questions which you must expect. Angles and uh, blend figures. Last year it was not there. 2021 20, 20, it was there, three marks. 2020, 20, three marks. 2019, 20, 20, 20, there wasn't like that. So you, you, we shall look at the questions that has very many marks. That doesn't mean look at measurement, perimeter, time, volume. It doesn't meet. It, it is always there. It doesn't miss. Yeah, you can see 13 marks. Like in 2020, 2021, it had, there was a 10 marks question, and then paper, uh, part one, part the uh, section A, there was another 3 marks. So uh, section B, 10 marks, section A, 3 marks. That was measurement. So you can see such a kind of uh, questions you can't afford to miss them. Uh, topics in form 2. So let us see a question of a straight line. Last year it was there 10 marks. 
2022. So you can look at this trend and then you will be able to predict the topics that you expect. So go through them. Uh, to form 2, 2022, you can see all of this. Uh, rigid break expression, linear inequalities, last year it was not there, linear motion, uh, you, ex you have to expect that in paper 1 this year, 10 marks, linear motion, it was not there last year, therefore expect it, two vehicles coming to meet or going bad, so you need to expect that, statistics 1, last year it was there 12 marks, so I'm not saying that it's going to miss, but you need to prepare well. Uh, topics in form 3 that are in section in paper 1, we have trigonometry 2. Uh, you can see 10 marks 2011, 10 marks 2012. Last year it was not there, so you may expect it this year. 2021, as you can see, it, was, it, may, it missed the 2020, 2021 was there. Now last year it was not there, expect trigonometry 2 this year. Those are the things you need to expect. Matrices, expect a 10 max matrix to this year. You can easily get that. Uh, in Form 4, the topics that you must not enter paper 1 mathematics without having the concept with them is differentiation, approximation, uh, uh, differentiation and approximate, area of approximation. Those ones, they are really common as you can see. 2010, in fact, the differentiation has never missed in any paper one, as you can see, all of them here. Look at this. In fact, 2021, 2021, it was 14 marks. So meaning 4 marks was in section A and 10 marks in section B. So you can see it, a differentiation is a question you cannot afford to, to miss. So you need to understand it very well. Uh, that's a paper one question from four topic. Uh, area of uh, area and approximation there also it is very important to you master so it was there last year it does not mean that it will not be there this year let us look at paper two topics in paper two let us go through them in form three we have such binomial expansion all of these quadratic equation factors two quadratic expression approximation all of those errors trigonometry two is in both uh, commercial arithmetic uh, so all of these square topics in form four we have all these paper two questions so let us analyze each here so you can use this one and see the trend, how it is moving. So SADS uh, has never missed in a paper 2 question section A. SADS are always there. So as you can see 2 marks, 3 marks, it is always there. Except 2021, it was not there. But uh, all the years except 2021 and 2014, it has been there. So you, that's the question you must expect, a uh, question of SADS. Binomial expansion, it was not there two years ago. 2022 was missing, 2021 missed. Therefore, you need to expect a binomial expansion this year. Yeah, expect that. Further logarithms, it missed a section paper two, it missed it there. So you can expect it also. Formula and a variation, that one has never missed no year that a formula and variation, the making the subject of the formula, making a, a certain letter, the subject of the formula has never missed, so you need to prepare well on that. Equation of a circle, that one is 50-50. can come, it will not. Factors, factor 2, as you can see, every year there is a factor 2 question. Every year, so you can see. Quadratic expression from 2014 through 2022, questions has been there. So this one can guide you on how to advise. Uh, approximation and errors, as you can see, if there's no question, no question has come since 2018 up to 2022. So you need to prepare well also. Trigonometry 2, that one is uh, purely mostly paper 1. 
So that's why here you see so many zeros because it is purely paper one. Commercial arithmetic, that's another question that you will not fail to prepare very well with it for it. As you can see, at commercial arithmetic two, every year it is there. Every year is available and you need to prepare. So commercial arithmetic two must be well understood. Uh, circle called tangent. We can also see that there was a question last year, all that. So that one can guide you. So my friend, I want you to look at the analysis. You can now analyze yourself and see the topics that you are supposed. You don't need to read everything, but there are things which you must not avoid to read. Uh, yeah. Things like longitudes and locality, uh, longitudes and latitudes is a top, very simple topic which you must not afford to avoid reading. So you should be sure. Like now last year there was no 10 marks for longitude and latitude. So meaning that this year you are likely to get uh, latitude and longitude 10 marks in paper 2. So those are the things. Uh, the three dimension has never missed in any year. It doesn't miss. And uh, mm, as you can also see, trigonometry two, trigonometry two is always there present. <sighs> I think this document or this video is going to be very helpful to you. So go through the topics, see the marks that are allocated for each question for each year. So you can see the number inside here is the, the, the total marks of the question that given here. Where you see 10 plus 3, it means that section A there was 3 marks, section B there was 10 marks. So that's what it means. Thank you very much. Share to your friends so that they can also learn and prepare for the exams.